Okay, sorry. Um, okay. Uh, I'm just going to share with you a portion of um, something that God has been teaching me. And he really, he brought it, like, it's been for a few months now. It's been for a week now. And he really brought it to a huge head today, culminated into a, a lot of things. And um, my mind is still whirling with all of it, but I'm going to share one part of it with you. Um, one of my favorite parts anyway, about the love of God. <laughs> um, I'm going to read John chapter 21. Uh, where do we start? I think I'm going to start just at verse one and go to, uh, verse uh, 19 okay and then i'm going to be reading uh from desire uh, just uh some portions from desire of ages the um, chapter called um by the sea once more john chapter 21 says later jesus appeared again to the disciples beside the sea of galilee this is how it happened several of the disciples were there simon peter thomas Nathaniel uh, from uh, Cana in Galilee, the sons of Zebedee, and two other disciples. Simon Peter said, I'm going fishing. We'll come too, they all said. So they went out in the boat, but they caught nothing all night. At dawn, Jesus was standing on the beach, but the disciples couldn't see who he was. And he called out, fellows, have you caught any fish? No, they replied. Then he said, throw out your net on the right side of the boat, um, the right-hand side of the boat, and you'll get some. So they did, and they ha couldn't haul in the net because there were so many fish in it. Then the disciple Jesus, oh wait, then the disciple Jesus loved said to Peter, it's the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that, it, it, that it was the Lord, he put on his tunic, for he had stripped for work, jumped into the water, and headed to shore. The others stayed with the boat and, and pulled the loaded net to the shore, for they were only about a hundred yards from shore. When they got there, they found breakfast waiting for them, fish cooking over a charcoal fire and some bread. Bring some of the fish you've just caught, Jesus said. So Simon Peter went aboard and dragged the net to the shore. There were 153 large fish, and yet the net hadn't torn. Now come and have some breakfast, Jesus said. None of the disciples dared to ask him, who are you? They knew it was the Lord. Then Jesus served them the bread and the fish. This was the third time Jesus had appeared to his disciples since he had been raised from the dead. After breakfast, Jesus asked Simon Peter, son, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Meaning, do you love me more than these disciples love me? <coughs> yes, Lord, Peter replied, you know I love you. Then feed my lambs, Jesus told him. Jesus repeated the question, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Yes, Lord, Peter said, you know I love you. Then take care of my sheep, Jesus said. A third time he asked him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was hurt that Jesus asked the question a third time. He said, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said, then feed my sheep. I tell you the truth. When you were young, you were able to do as you liked. You dressed yourself, you went wherever you wanted to go, but when you are old, you will stretch out your hands and others will dress you and take you where you don't wanna go. Jesus said this to let him know by what kind of death he would glorify God. Then Jesus told him, follow me. Um, there's a lot <laughs> that I've been learning in uh, this in uh, this story here about uh, 
Peter, P just just Peter alone, despite um, all the other, le uh, there's a lot of stuff you can get from this. Um, I do, I recommend if you guys carry on in the night with any study, go read the whole chapter of By the Sea Once More from Ellen White. But um, one of the things that uh, I took from this was the fact that um, Peter's heart was broken when he denied Christ three times. And it was um, even the, uh, as she explains, um, even the other disciples didn't um, trust him enough anymore to feel like he was worthy to preach the gospel, you know, and go out and do the work of God. So here in this interaction with Christ, Jesus is trying to get Peter to understand that that he does love God and that God loves him and that God needs him to not give up on what he was called to do. So the 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 some of the things that Juan and and Angelo and I were talking about today was that um you know, when Jesus was alive, Peter was always so willing to go wherever Jesus was. But because Peter was more focused on the person of Christ, and when Christ wasn't around, and there's other stories in 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 um, mm -hmm. in the four Gospels um, that can attest to Peter uh, and the disciples also, but. Um, to focus on Peter, when Jesus wasn't around, Peter would tend to fall away. He would forget about the blessings that he just experienced, and he would uh, look more onto the world and the danger that lied ahead. Um, but then as soon as Jesus would come back into Peter's presence, then Peter was ready. Peter was there again. And so in order to do the actual work that God was calling him to do, God had to help Peter understand uh, that it's more than just the presence in the flesh of Christ. We even see here that uh, when they couldn't catch the fish, but then they recognized that it was Jesus on shore, here in this, in this um, story, the first thing Peter did was jump out of the boat and go to go be with Jesus in the flesh. Um, but God was trying to get him to understand, you need a better understanding of me and of you in me so that you can go back to doing the work I called you to do. So I'm reading, um, I'm reading again from the Desire of Ages by the Sea Once More. And there's there's just some excerpts, so I'm using the book, so I can't tell you what paragraphs it is, but these are things that are more towards the end of the uh, chapter. The question that Christ had put to Peter was significant. He mentioned only one condition of discipleship and service. Lovest thou me? Um, he said, this is the essential qualification. Though Peter might possess every other, Yet without the love of Christ, he could not be a faithful shepherd over the Lord's flock. Knowledge, benevolence, eloquence, gratitude, and zeal are all aids in the good work. But without the love of Jesus in the heart, the work of the Christian minister is a failure. Heretofore, Peter had known Christ after the flesh, as many know him now, but he was no more to be thus limited. He knew him, Jesus, no more as he had known Christ in his association with Christ in humanity. He had loved Jesus as a man, as a heaven-sent teacher, but he now loved God, loved him as God. He had been learning the lesson that to him, Christ was all in all. Now he was prepared to share in the Lord's mission of sacrifice. But the lesson which Christ had taught him by the Sea of Galilee, uh, Peter carried with him throughout his life. 
writing by the Holy Spirit to the churches, he said, the elders which are among you I exhort, who am also an elder and a witness of the sufferings of Christ, and also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Feed the flock of God, which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not by filthy lucre, but of a ready mind, neither as being lords over God's heritage, but being in samples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd shall appear, ye shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. Um, something that I've been learning through uh, all of this is that you could think that you're doing the work of God because you have the knowledge, you have the zeal, you have the passion. Um, but we need to know not only the love of God, but how our love should be in God. And then the work that we're trying to wholeheartedly do to God and give to God, uh, do for God and give to God, um, will be like doubly blessed. Um, because everything that we do, we should do in love towards our brethren. If we're trying to teach people about Christ and show people Christ, it must be with the foundation of love. And we always say that, but we have to understand what that love is. And we have to know Christ more than just what we think we know of him in the flesh. We have to know Christ more than what we think we know of him when we feel uh, his presence is with us. We have to know Christ um, in a sense that he is all in all. He is connected to all of us. He loves us. I'm not trying to get all spiritual about this, you know, um, just understand that what I'm saying is um, if God is love and we are to show his example, then we are to be a love in a way that is forgiving and merciful and kind in our approach and patient in our approach and understanding and we are to wait for god's guidance on everything because we would never want to step out of the presence of the lord to do what we think is a good work to do for him before god is there with us because satan is waiting with temptations that we can't handle on our own so at the end of sabbath i like to focus on preparing for the week and so as we go out into this week let's just remember that before we do anything we need to come to god just as even christ was um uh, craig was explaining this morning during the sabbath school lesson it's not just the the financial tithe that we give we should be giving our all our talents our mind um our love and we give it to god first and he'll use it in the way that he sees fit so again in the morning give your day to god that's what we have to do this week and in everything that we do when we go about our day go to god first it's always best to pray before we do something so that our minds don't get taken off of Christ and then we get caught in a storm that we can't handle. So does anyone have any prayer requests first before we, we pray together? Okay, well then let's, let's bow our heads. Let's pray for our family. Oh, what one? Let's pray for our family. <clears throat> like who, your mom and stuff? No, our house. Oh, okay. Um, Juan is asking for prayers for um, um, our relationship and um, and our, our household. Um, all right, so uh, 
please keep us in prayer. <laughs> All right, let's bow our heads. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, that we know when we can come to you that you take care of all things. We thank you, Father, that there's a way that you work that we don't need to understand. And we just, you've shown us in our own individual lives that you do work out all things to your glory. And we thank you for your wonderful word filled with promises that we can remember always to in order to um, help us through everything and, and, and that you remind us to look to you in all things. Now, Father, we don't want to go about this upcoming week without you. We want to have your strength, your protection, your faith. We need you, Lord, because we can't do it without you. We will fail. So, Father, we just ask that you will please prepare us for whatever lies ahead this week. Uh, bless the, the paths of those that we will come across and let your good will be done in the lives of our, our family and our friends. And, um, and, Father, we just lift up those in our hearts that are sick, suffering, in need. We ask, Lord, that you will take care of what they need in their life, but that most importantly, you will use it and do it in a way that will glorify you and that they will see you. Soften all of our hearts, Lord. Soften their hearts and help them to turn to you. Help us to turn to you in the ways that where we're lacking. And guide us continually, Father. Don't let go of us, but please help us to not let go of you. And Lord, just work mightily and swiftly in the lives of those that, that still need you, uh, that still deny you, that need to know you. Because we want to go home, Father. We want to come, come to you and have an end to this, and we know it's in your good timing but we pray that you will continue to work on the hearts of every last one that is that uh, you were waiting on. We thank you for hearing us, being with us, and we thank you so much for loving us. Teach us to love others in that way. and Teach us how to love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Okay, 